Jim Evans here, joined backstage with Jack Shaw, who will fight for the Cage Warriors Bantamweight title at Cage Warriors 100 against Mike Ekendaya. Um Jack, first of all, just kind of describe the last few weeks for me. First of all, you headlined a fight card in your own backyard in Cardiff. Now you're going to be fighting for the title again in Cardiff at Cage Warriors 100. You know, you know how? What have the last few weeks like been like for you? It's been, uh, it's been nuts, Jim. Uh, obviously, with, with the, the last fight as well, you know, with, with the pullouts and the, the switching opponent and the going up a weight class and all that. But it's been a crazy couple of weeks. But you know, I take it in my stride. This is what I love to do essentially. So it's something you've got, you've got to be ready for in this game. And now to to be fighting in Cardiff, biggest cage warriors card ever, main event in fighting finally for that world title is um, is something I can't wait to do. Yeah, let's rewind it a bit. That last Last fight, you had to go up. A, you know, opponent pulled out on like very short notice. You had to go up to featherweight to fight someone on you know, you've probably never seen before. <laughs> but you finished the fight in clinical fashion. Like, how much confidence did that that give you? Kind of showing that you could, I guess, come come against the adversity like that and still come out and win. Yeah, it just gave me confidence in my mental strength. I always say I'm mentally as strong as I'm physically. You know, my skills are there, but a lot of fighters got skills, not a lot of mental strength. I know that's something I got. And it wasn't a matter of who I was going to fight on that day. It was a matter of just going out there and beating everyone in front of me. And, you know, dangerous guy, like I said, uh, Wes, I never heard of him. Brazil, tough Brazilian guy, net, very dangerous. You know, I could have turned that fight down and I could have said, you know what, I'll wait till December, but I didn't. I wanted to fight because I signed my contract to fight that day. So, it, it was something that I suppose it'll, it'll, as crazy as it was, it will benefit me in the future because there's not going to be touch wood, there's not going to be many other times where I'm going to fight a different guy on Spiny if I was know it's like that. Yeah, for sure. Um, talk to me about, uh, I guess, life since that fight happened. When did you get offered the fight against Mike and how did all of this come together? Um, obviously, the, the plan was always to fight, provided I was injury free, to fight in December. Uh, for the defender battle was the plan, but obviously, the last fight was a title fight. I think they contacted me on the Wednesday after the fight. Uh, they said, you know, you're fighting Eckin Day, or. I, I always I say to people I don't think they believe me. I, I say whoever they offer me is who I fight. I, I don't say oh I don't know about that. I don't want to fight this guy. Whoever they offer, I'll fight. They, they rang me up Wednesday. If it was Graham or Ian, text me and said every day or December the eighth. So yeah, perfect. You know, let's do it. He's undefeated like myself. I think there's one space below me in the rankings. He's got a lot of hype up, up you know, like a blend away. I've got a lot of hype down, down in Wales. So let's collide and see what the best is. And, and obviously one of us is going to lose, and it's not going to be me. You know, you must have seen a lot of Mike's uh, fights before. He fought Ed Arthur before. What would you kind of make of him as an opponent and what kind of challenges do you think he kind of brings to you? You know, he's very high level wrestler. He's got a good top game, good ground and pound. And, you know, he's got that mauling style, quite similar to myself. In a way, the way he fights is, in, in his wrestling style is very similar to myself. And obviously, I've got to avoid that takedown and, uh, you know, enforce my game. But I think I'm a lot more well rounded. You know, I think I can keep the, I can keep the fight on the feet, beat him there. If I want to take him, you know, I can take him down. I know I can stuff his takedowns. But I, I'm under no illusion. It's going to be my toughest fight to date, undoubtedly. But it's a fight I'm very confident in. And I don't want to bring that title. What was it like? fighting at the the ice arena and uh, with, with all those fans behind you do you think that could play a factor i guess at uh, cw 100 it was insane uh, you know, to where i was warming up you can't really hear the, the, the crowd as such but as soon as i started walking out i felt it's loud out there and uh, obviously they're selling more tickets now for this one so it's going to be even louder but you know, being undefeated like he is in the record he's had, I don't think the crowd will really phase him. But you know, he's, he's going to be coming to the Lions Den, make no mistake about. It. You know, they, they're going to be they're going to be completely behind me. There's not going to be many um, airline fans there, but that way. But um, you know, I don't think it'll affect him. I, I think I'll be fighting the best second day there is to fight, and, and I wouldn't have it another way. You know, and I'm going to win the belt. I'm going to win it against a guy who's going to come to try and take me out, and I'm going to come and try and take him out. Have you guys been confirmed as the main event yet? We've not heard this. Yeah, I think we are the main. Event. So, um, like I said before, before the last fight, it makes sense. You know, Cage Warriors 100 in Cardiff have the biggest Welsh fight there uh, as main event. So, you know, it made sense, and, and obviously Cage Warriors see it that way as well. You know, um, this is Cage Warriors 100. This is a massive, massive event. Uh, do you kind of, kind of feel that how special this is going to be, and the fact that you know, and do you feel good about the fact that, like you said there, you are the biggest fighter in Wales, and this is in Wales, and this is Cage Warriors 100. Do you feel, you know, uh, good about the fact that Cage Warriors are putting their faith in you as a fighter to, to headline this? Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially in Wales, I got a lot of pull with the fans, and I think for the show to work, they, they needed me on the card definitely. So they've also got faith in me to put me. Event, they feel like I'm a big enough 
definitely you know, especially on the, the UK MMA scene to, to headline a big show like that and I'm glad they do because I feel like I deserve that shot now I've been fighting for two years Foot, whatever they put in front of me, could have said no to fighting on the last card, you know, could have just sat down waiting for this card, but that's not who I am. And um, like you said, k draw is 100. You know, look how big UFC 100 is and, and UFC 200. So it, it, to me, it's like that. It's like it's like fighting. The, it's the biggest possible k draw stage you can fight on. And you only got to look at some of the names they've announced for the card. You know, Paddy, uh, John McCogan, and I just got told they're looking to get Reese McKee on there, uh, Josh Reed, Chris Edwards. So to be at the top of that bill with all these names, especially on the card as well, obviously shows that um, I'm doing summit right and shows that UK Warriors, you know, they got a lot of faith in me. But like I said, I feel like I'm doing it. Yeah, for sure. Um, earlier tonight, you guys went in. You went in the uh, Cage Warriors cage. You had a bit of a stare down. What, what did you kind of see when you when you looked in the eyes of Mike? Like, was I, there anything? No, nah, I was chilled. You know, he's like myself. He's, he's a respectful guy. He's, he's not one of these guys who's loud mouth and brash. He's like myself. He's respectful. You know, we had, we shook hands. We had, we had a little laugh in there. But um, it, it'll be all business come fight night. Obviously, we're respectful now. We, we you know, it's not like Khabib and Khan. We, we can be still, we can be around each other and not be causing chaos. You know, but come fight night, it, it will be you know, as they say, strictly business. And we're gonna go in there to fight. Now he's gonna come to beat me. I'm not going to let that happen, I'm in there to win the same if you can bring that belt back. Just lastly, I asked him earlier tonight, how does it end at uh, Cage Warriors 100? I'll, I'll allow you to say now, like, how does this all end on the night? It ends with uh, Jack Tank Show being the new Cage Warriors World Bantamweight Champion and uh, the roof being raised in Cardiff and uh, crazy scene. <laughs> great stuff, Jack. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on uh, Cage Warriors 100 and we're, it's going to be a great event, so yeah, thanks for your time. Yeah,